Hey everyone! So I'm here with another sort of bullet journal with me type video. Um, before I get into the journal though, I want to show you what I'll be using. So I recently created uh, an entire digital kit. Um, it's called Dream Big and you can find it in my shop. I will leave the link in the description box down below. But it is a digital journaling kit, meaning when you get it, you can print all the elements out and cut them up and use them in your journals and scrapbooking and such. So I'm gonna sh just show you an overview of what I have here and what I'm going to use. So right here I have the pattern papers. There are six different pattern papers. They're sized eight by eight. Um, and they'll print easily on an eight and a half by 11 sheet. Um, so there are six designs. So you have this butterfly one. We have this one here, this script, this one, another butterfly, and some sheet music. And it's all very shabby chic and very light and pretty. So I will be using my papers. I will also be using this here. This is a bullet journal kit that I made. It's two pages. So this is the first one and this is the second one. So I'm, I already cut up a sheet of this so I'm going to be using that. I'm also going to be using some project life cards or journaling cards. Um, these are bits that are from the this one, the bullet journal kit. But these are journaling cards and so here we have four, four by six cards, and then we have, I think, eight three by fours. And so I might use an assortment of these journaling cards as well. And it all coordinates, they're all from the same collection. I also have some pockets. So when you get the pocket sheet, if you buy the pocket sheet, um, they'll come up, they'll come in a sheet you know, eight and a half by, everything's on an eight and a half by 11 sheet, so it's easy to print out. Um, you'll cut them up and you'll, they're kind of like that. But when you make them, they become pockets for journaling cards. And they become little envelopes to stick certain things in. To include in your journal. So this one becomes this. This square one becomes this square pocket here and then this really big one becomes the pocket for the journaling cards so where it tells you like the little dots that's where you would fold it and then you would just glue it and you get little pockets so I'm going to be using an assortment of those pockets as well and lastly I also designed a free printable so this is the free print printable here, and it's two sheets again, and it comes just like this, eight and a half by eleven. Um, and this free, the freebie, it's the embellishment freebie, so it's the embellishment sheets. Um, it's sort of like a mixture of everything. So you'll get pockets, you'll get this big pocket, so you'll get this big, this big pocket. Um, you also get the square pocket, which is this one. And then you'll get an assortment of things that you can cut out. So you have a floral, you have these, you have butterflies. Um, these are some washi kind of strips. And you can just fussy cut all of these out and use it in your journals. And then here you get two journaling cards and some more butterflies that you can fussy cut. Um, the embellishment sheet um, is free in my shop, so you can go and download it for free. Um, the elements in here, so like the pockets and the journaling cards, are different from the pockets in the pocket in the pocket download and they're different from um, and the journaling cards are different from the journaling cards that are in the bullet journal and different from the journaling cards that are in the journaling so nothing is sort of repeated they're just different um, the elements are repeated the elements and the colors and stuff are all the same but the actual designs of the pockets and the journaling cards are different throughout all of the uh, all of the printables um, there is an option to get the entire kit so it'll come with um, all of these printables that so will come with the cards, the paper, the bullet journal kit, the pockets, and some extra little sticker sheets. 
and you can get that together and then of course you can download the free embellishment kit separately so if you want the whole thing so I will leave that link down below in the description box if you're interested in any of these things but this is what I will be using to set up my August because I haven't set up August yet and I know it's already like the first full week of August and I honestly just haven't done it yet so without further ado I just wanted to show you what I was working with I'm gonna go ahead and start my August spread here so I'm just gonna take out my journal I'm gonna keep this handy because I think I might use some stickers and stuff in here as well but so this is where I am with August. I initially wanted to use this because I kind of want to do the August break. This is from Susanna Conway. She is a blogger that I always talk about. Um, she's doing sort of like an Instagram pho photography little challenge. And so far I am failing at it. But um, I wanted to put this here, but it's a little too big and it doesn't really match my kit that I'm using. So I'm going to leave it here. I might tuck it into a pocket. Um, and I'm going to do two things. I'm going to do my opening and then my monthly. So if you saw July, I started this book in July. So this is a stalgy. Um, I just covered it with some floral fabric there. But I only, I, don't, I didn't have like an intro for July. I just kind of had the monthly. And so here I kind of want to do like an intro and then the monthly. So I have no idea what I want to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and probably do a voiceover right now and switch it up so that I can work on this without being distracted by talking. So I hope you enjoy. So the first spread that I decide to do is my, I guess, a monthly intro spread. Um, it's just like an introduction spread. I'm still going to do my month on two pages as well but I kind of wanted like a divider between the ending of July and the beginning of August, so I decided to do a intro, a monthly intro spread. And so here I am using a pocket from my kit, and I'm decorating it with some banners that I cut out of the bullet journal kit. And this is the same Dream Big kit that I just showed you. Um, I already like had cut out a bullet journal kit to use so I'm using all the little bits and pieces are from my bullet journal kit and then of course the pockets are from the pocket the, the pocket and envelopes uh, kit so I am using this pocket because I kind of want to put a journaling card in there that has my monthly goals um, I normally don't keep well one I normally don't keep goals at all let alone monthly so but there are certain things that I kind of wanted to get done in this month. Um, so I figured I would make a card. Actually, um, what, in the bullet journal kit, there actually is a card that says goals on it. So I'm going to use that to write out my goals. And I'm going to tuck it into that little pocket. And hopefully that little calendar, that little, um, not calendar, the, um, the Instagram photo challenge little piece of paper that I have I want to tuck that in there as well because I don't want that to be showing but I still want it in my journal and I think pockets and little envelopes are like awesome little tuck spots for things that you don't want people to see you know so that is what's gonna go into that little pocket so what I just did was I took one of the papers from my dream big collection and I just kind of ripped it so that it kind of went ripped um, down sort of like diagonally the center of that page there and I just glued it down and I want that as my background. I also put a little half doily behind the pocket because everything that I do has doilies in it and it just gives it a very delicate feel to it. And now um, I'm looking for more things to cut apart so I just cut this little, um, it's kind of like a ticket ephemera piece or something. Um, I cut it from the free uh, embellishment kit so you can find that sheet it's two sheets and it's free in my shop again I'll leave all the links down below to everything that is in my collection but yeah so I kind of tucked it behind the pocket along with that uh, floral piece that I have there the black and white floral and here I took the little washi that was on top that was holding that little uh, 
the August break card down and instead of getting rid of it I decided to use it and I really liked having that blue. That washi tape is from the Planner Society. It's one of uh, I don't remember what kit. I think it was January of last year's kit maybe. Uh, washi tape and I end up using the blue paper with the hearts that's also from that same kit and it's the same pattern that's on the washi. I love having that little blue in this because it kind of it pops against the paints and like the, the rose red color and stuff like that. So you see I, I kind of tucked two things into that pocket and it was the goals card and my little uh, August break card that I had to fold in half but it's fine I really I really just wanted a place that I can tuck those things in um, so that they're hidden and they're not really seen, you know. So I took out some stickers, I'm gluing stuff down. And I think I start on the next page and so I, I'm using that same paper that I ripped up. Here I'm using another half of a doily and I'm just gluing that on the top and I'm gluing that page so that it looks like my paper kind of went over to the next page. Um, I like doing that because it kind of, um, it kind of combines the two pages in my spread. So I, if you use like a piece of paper or some sort of element on one side of the page, you want to repeat it on the other side of the page so that both pages look like they're they're one you know that they're complete that they they're supposed to be together and they don't look like two separate things that you did so here I'm looking for some alpha stickers I actually settle on these blue ones they're light blue alpha stickers and they're from pink fresh studio I got them at scrapbook.com again I'll leave a link down below to that um, and I just kind of wanted to spell out August but I wanted to make sure that that blue matched the washi tape and I actually put a bit of the washi tape on the other page so that it balanced that out and that blue is so perfect for that um, that to match that washi tape so it was just perfect and now I'm looking for a card to like put on the other side I don't actually end up putting the other side um, a card there I end up abandoning that page for a bit um, to work on my monthly spread because I really didn't know what I wanted on that side of the page. But I think before I do, I sort of reposition my pocket and I add some a little bit of embellishments to that other page um, because I didn't know what I wanted there. I, I was going to write something there, but I just, you know, didn't know. So I decided to pull out the little embellishment pieces. Um, I love these little phrases that I made. Um, most of them are in the bullet journal kit and I just kind of cut them all out but I start out with adding some butterflies and these butterflies are scattered throughout the entire collection so you'll find them in the free embellishment um, sheets, you'll find them in the bullet journal kit, you'll find them on the journaling cards, you get the journaling cards, the papers, they're scattered all over and so I decided to use a couple and just kind of put them there. You can see me, I'm looking through, I'm mostly looking through the free embellishment kit and the bullet journal kit. That's mainly what I use besides a couple of the papers. Um, and I think I only, I don't even think I use a journaling card from the journaling card um, kit. I, I mostly use bits from the free printable that I have in my shop and the bullet journal kit. I guess you know that's why it's called a bullet journal kit but yeah so um, I put a butterfly up there I put two other butterflies on the other side and now I'm looking to see what sort of phrase that I want to put there I settle on that white one and as I'm looking at the video I don't remember exactly what it says I think it says something about follow follow the beat of your own heart I believe that's what it says Anyway, so once I glue all that down, I abandon that page, like I said, and I begin to work on my monthly. And I'm basically copying what I did for July's monthly, except um, moving like the cluster of, you know, scrappy things onto the other side. Instead of it being on the left, it'll be on the right. Um, and since August is a little different, like it, the layout of where the days lay are a little different, I, I can put like a, I don't. I have room on the bottom to put more things, if that makes sense. But I end up 
going off camera to lightly do my grid and pencil because for some reason when you're trying to do anything like that on camera it's like oh my god like you mess up so much and I'm you doing it in pencil so it's not like a big deal but I don't know what it is about when the camera's on and you just kind of mess up all the time so here I cut out that um, strip of paper it's like uh, sheet music and that's supposed to be like a little fake washi I believe it's in the bullet journal kit and I end up turning those into banners and like sticking them out of different places I am also using this blue planner society paper um, that matches oh my goodness I love the pop of blue against all this stuff but you see here I'm cutting out another banner you get two you get two of those little washi strips and these are vertical so that the image is printed vertical on the freebie there are a bunch of washi strips there that are printed horizontally so you know I'm giving you variety of you know things to use within these kits so I have that blank space um, under my calendar um, because August it just fits perfectly like that and I decide to take this paper it has this uh, sort of like postcard thing and put that on the bottom as a border and so you see I, I trimmed it down a little bit and then I um, ripped it because I like that ripped look and I'm just gonna glue it down right there and, and make sure I struggle a little bit with getting the crease correct because I didn't want to cut the paper in half um, I should have cut the paper in half because then the pages would close better but I, I wanted to keep the whole thing intact but yeah that covers that little empty space there so nicely and I love the look of that and then of course I do my little cluster on the corner that has uh, one of the wildflower images uh, that I fussy cut and then I have one of the word uh, phrase pieces this one says boom where you're planted and I kind of put that over it and of course I put that blue speckled heart washi tape there too um, and most of it's gonna be covered up but I like the little peaks of it um, here and there and it's I noticed the washi tape is a little more tealer than the paper that I'm using it's the same pattern from the same kit it's just that the paper is a little bit more of a light blue whereas the washi is a little bit teal but you see here where I cut that into a banner like I kind of made like a little fishtail banner thing there so um, but yeah so now I'm just gluing down my little cluster and it's just you know a collage I'm just collaging different things I took a little mini doily there because I felt like I needed some doily action there and I'm putting it there and that's basically what I do most of my things that I do in my bullet journal um, will be a lot of collage that's how I compiled my July monthly was just a lot of collage um, this notebook just takes you know it's easier to collage um, it takes paint and stuff really well but I wanted to work on I wanted to work with my kit for this so just collaging a lot of bits of a lot of bits of paper and bits of pieces from those kits so now I'm working on the other side and I'm I kind of want to mimic, mimic what I did on the other on the right right hand side. So I want to glue a doily in that corner, and I want to repeat this pattern paper on the other side because again, I want it. I want both pages. I want the whole thing to flow. So you have to repeat those little elements. So here I, I cut the other washi strip in half, and I'm cutting that one into a banner and gluing it down the other side because it just needed some more. And then I'm making this one also into a little banner and tucking it in there as well. Um, I also really like symmetry so if I do something on one side of the of the spread I kind of want to repeat it on the other side in a different format of course but you know it's always the same it's just like the same things um, but I find that when you do repeat those elements like opposite each other it really draws the eye um, it really draws the eye around the spread and it makes the two pages just match so well. 
So here I'm taking the stickers. These are from an old Heidi Swap pack that I got from Michaels and it had the days of the week. So um, it was in gold foil. So I just kind of laid down the days of the week there and they're perfect. They fit, you know, the boxes that I made so perfectly. So that's how I have my days of the week. So now I'm embellishing the page again with some more butterflies. I love these butterflies. I love including butterflies in like everything. So the fact that I like made this kit with all these butterflies and I fussy cut them all out and that was a pain. I don't really like fussy cutting. I know some people like fussy cutting, but I'm not a big fussy cutter person. I mean, I fussy cut a lot, but um, I don't enjoy it at all. Um, so, and then these guys are really small, so it's kind of like a bit more you have to pay more of attention when you're fussy cutting them, but I love it. I love using these butterflies. I love how they look on the page. It just makes everything so fun and delicate and girly, and I just love it. So I'm just putting a bunch of butterflies down, and I think am I looking? I'm looking for more to cut up and use. <laughs> Uh, now I'm trying to fill up that little corner there. I think I end up using some word strips, um, some phrase strips. I think I used like, um, I used the ones from the freebie, from the free embellishment sheet. And it was like live loud, be bold, or dream big. Those are the ones that I end up using in that area there. Yeah, live loud and dream big. That's the ones I end up using. I don't actually end up using the, the be bold one, so that ends up not being there on the left-hand corner. I think I just leave the doily and then I take a sticker. I take one of the, um, the banner stickers from Lace and Whimsy and I put it there. So Lace and Whimsy, if you caught my other bullet journal video, um, those were the stickers that I always used. In that one, the stickers and the little Pegasus, um, the stars that I use just right now are also from Lace and Lindsay. I love her shop. I love her shop. I love her stickers. So I use, if it's not like scrapbooking stickers, like these are from Michael's Recollection stickers the, that I'm spelling out August, or like the Heidi Swap stickers, or like Maggie Holmes. I really like Maggie Holmes. If it's not, you know, if it's not like a really big name sticker from a scrapbooking company. My stickers are always from Lace and Lindsay. I just love, love her shop. So I'm struggling here to line it up correctly on that banner, but once I do, it's really pretty and it and it gives that hint of gold that the, the days of the week have and it matches my July actually. So I went off camera and inked everything in and I'm just showing you. I put in my goals and everything that page I end up doing a little bit of journaling and you will see in the pictures following my journaling there but that is basically it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching like always and I'll see you all next time. Bye!